Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use the Molier table to find rank in reheat cycle, you know, the H values for that. So first you want to read the question. So in this question it says that uh, steam at a boiler outlet 150 bar 50 degrees Celsius uh, is reheated at 40 bar 550 degrees Celsius and condenses at 0 0.1 bar. So you need to use the Molier chart and uh, you know, assume all the processes are ideal and find the quality at turbine exit, cycle efficiency and steam rate. So the first thing you want to do is uh, draw the TS diagram which uh, uh, looks like this. So um, after you draw the TS diagram and label the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, after you're done then uh, this line that is 1, 2, 3, 4 is uh, the 150 bar line and um, this line that's 5 and 6 is 40 bars then this line 6 and 7 is 0 0.1 bars okay so um, first it says that the steam at boiler outlet 150 bar and 550 degrees uh, celsius so the boiler is at point 1 so 1 2 and 3 are the boiler processes so point 3 is the boiler outlet so that is 150 bars and um, it says uh, 550 degrees celsius so that is uh, around here so that will be 0.4 so now um, to find the H values of 0.4 on the PV diagram that is uh, H4 you want to um, go to uh, the Molier uh, chart and uh, it said uh, 150 bar so um, from 150 bar you want to trace a line like this all the way down and uh, it's at 550 degrees Celsius so this is the 550 degrees Celsius line so you want to uh, trace that with your finger then those intersect <coughs> those um, intersect at uh, this point over here so at this point uh, that is the 150 uh, bar and 550 degrees Celsius point so that point from here um, <coughs> you, uh, there's this line this line so you have to trace that all the way to the left to get the H value so um, this H value is around uh, 3460 so that will be your H8 value so um, we'll just uh, note that down so um, H8 uh, was uh, 3006 so <laughs> how much was it it was 3460 okay so 3460 so next will come uh, so the next value you have to find is uh, oh sorry that wasn't h8 that was h4 h4 okay so the next value you want to find is um, the H5 value. So from H4, like uh, as you can see from the diagram, it goes, uh, it's the same uh, this one. It's at 40 bar, like from four to five, the four line when drawn down from four joins uh, 40 bar at point five. So what you have to do is uh, the previously obtained point, that was the point four. From there, you have to drag, um, is trace a line down and then trace the 40 bar line and then the point of intersection will give you H5 so yeah so this is the point we got so from this point we have to extend it down and uh, extend the 40 bar line down so 40 bars is here so you just trace this all the way till here and they intersect around here this point so from this point uh, you trace it to the left like you did before and you get a value this is the H5 uh, value so uh, yeah so that is around 3040 so 3040 kilojoule per kg that is your H5 value so um this value is 3040 so like we'll 
Let's make a note. Uh, H5 2040. Okay, so the next value you want to find out is uh, H6. H6. Okay. So uh, H6, as you can see, it says that it's heated, reheated at 40 bars and 550 degrees Celsius. So like you did in the first step, you have to do the same thing except with 40 bar instead of 150 bar. So this was the 40 bar line we traced and uh, this was the 550 we traced. So this is the point where they meet 40 and 550. So from this point, you have to uh, trace a line to the left, which will give you the H value. That is your uh, H6 uh, value. That is around 3,560 uh, kilojoules per kg. So 3,560. Then next comes your H7. So H7's value, um, as you can see, is over here. It's um, it's the value from the point, the eight, the six point down when it coincides with the 0 0.1 bar line so you have to find that on the pv diagram again so like from the point which you previously obtained you drag it down and uh, drag the 0 0.1 bar line to the left the point where they coincide will give you the h7 value so um uh, let me show you so this was the point which we obtained the seventh point so you want to trace this line all the way down uh the way down and then the 0 0.1 bar line you have to uh, trace like this and then this is the point where they meet yeah. so that's the point where they meet so from that point uh, you want to let me just get rid of this yeah, okay so from that point again to find the H value you have to take the you have to trace the uh, line from here to the left to get your h value so that is around 2320 so yeah 2320 next um is your next is your h Next is your uh, this one. It asks you to find the quality at the turbine exit. So this is the turbine exit. This is your first turbine. It reheats second turbine and this is the turbine exit. So the X at that point you need to find out. So for that on the Molier chart, you have to um, the point you of intersection over here between the six point and uh, the 0 0.1 bar. So there you get, um, uh, you know, uh, an intersecting point. So uh, what you want to do is uh, from there you just trace the lines going like this. So the lines going from you know from left to right this way are, are your uh, quality or dryness fraction lines. So from that point when you draw the dryness fraction line you can see that it coincides with 0 0.8687 and 88. So your x value will be 0 0.88. So you, yeah let's just note that down. So your h um, x at the exit so that's x7 will be 0 0.88 so the next comes your h8 uh, value which is um, which is uh, this value so this value is on the line on the saturation curve so you just get that from the steam table so you go to the steam table and look at the hf value for 0 0.1 bars so that is the HF value so that is uh, you know 191.8 or something and then H1 you use by uh, uh, using the the pump uh, work done by the pump formula and then you get H1 then you can substitute all these values to get the you know the correct answer so and then you can find your cycle efficiency and steam rate so that was it guys thanks for watching I hope it helped Bye.